Hello friends, welcome to my channel, or back to my channel as the case may be. We have reached day number 28 of our 1001 tarot readings. Today the question is about navigating conflict in an otherwise loving relationship. How can we get back onto the same page type scenario? It is a three card reading. We are using the Mythos Tarot to answer the question. And we're going to get right into it. So the purpose of this reading is to help you get onto the same page as a couple when there is a particular issue that you keep just going over and over and going around and around, not reaching a conclusion, where there's clearly some sort of underlying issue that you need to resolve but you keep just kind of dancing around the issue instead of just confronting it. This reading says to use the full 78 card deck, so we shall do that. Card number one reveals the underlying problem. Card number two shows what's causing it to keep boiling up. And card number three, how can you overcome it? So we're going to shuffle this up and see what the Greek gods in the Mythos Tarot have to tell us. Okay. Card number one. Revealing the underlying problem. We have the Six of Swords, Eos. Card number two, what keeps it coming back up to the front? Uh, Dionysus, the Hierophant. And card number three, how can it be overcome? Judgment, Athena. So, card number six, or <laughs> card number one. <laughs> six of Swords, Eos. Oh, it's also important to note, even though I'm showing these cards upright so that you can actually interpret the image, um, they all showed up reversed. So, Six of Swords, Eos. So the issue that keeps coming back is some sort of emotional baggage, some sort of conflict that predates the relationship that you're both struggling to resolve, to come to a conclusion of. Eos is the goddess of the dawn. She was one of the Titans and um, is a very hopeful uh, deity. In this case, it is something that happened to either you or your partner, probably both, in what you would consider your darkest days, before you met each other or before you were a relationship. This is something from what you call your dark days. And it is boiling over into your current time. So card number two as to why it keeps happening is the Hierophant, represented by Dionysus. The Hierophant is religious authority. It is, based on the context of this reading, I would say it is what you grew up with as a religious or spiritual belief system. And that there is something that keeps coming up that is a painful memory rather than a joyous one, and that it is causing the conflict to keep coming forward. Because you and your partner are on different pages as far as the religion of choice or the spirituality of choice comes. And particularly considering Dionysus is a god of revelry, of... Hmm, of celebrations... It's coming up at those moments of what should be celebration in one or both of your faiths. That's why it keeps coming up over and over again. Even if you're no longer part of those religions, you still got that emotional connection to those times, to those days. So, card number three, how to overcome it. We have judgment reversed. Judgment typically is a card of endings, of 
what will happen, it will be just, and it will be the letter of the law type scenario. Being reversed and being paired with the goddess Athena, there is... you can be tactful about how you resolve this issue. You need to communicate about it. Think and actually ponder what are those... And it's not necessarily a religious belief either. It can just be the, the worldview that you had growing up. Look at it like a, a tactical board game. See what pieces are causing you problems and figure out how to remove them from the board. Do this as a couple. Do this together. Because you're on the same team. Unlike chess, where you're trying to beat the other person, this is... This is a collaborative experience as a relationship. Ask in whichever fashion, whether it's praying, um, looking at podcasts, find a source of wisdom about how to enmesh your various belief systems to come to a compromise about them or to merge them into one. Hope that helped. <laughs> Relationships are always difficult, but they are some of the most rewarding things that we experience in mortality. If you liked this, go ahead, leave a like, a comment, subscribe, and until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye!